Hello everybody, welcome to your fire sign mid-month update for March 2019. We're in the middle of Mercury retrograde and this is going to be the mid-month update for Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. So I would recommend that you look at your maybe your rising sign, your moon sign as well, just to see what information comes through for you. So we're using the Enchanted Tower. I'm going to get two of these and one of the Whispering Woods um, little oracle cards. And I will put the timestamps down below to see kind of where your reading starts. If you'd like a private reading with me or a phone consultation, all the links to have to do so is down below as well as the information as to how to become a Patreon or just support the channel. But first of all, thank you all for joining me. I hope these readings help you. And we're going to start with Aries. So let's just have a look and see what Aries is coming through. What does Aries need to know for mid-March onwards? Now, I understand that you may have had some strange things going on this month with Mercury in retrograde. Because Mercury's been in your 12th house. And it's been in your enlightenment and your esoteric sort of unspoken things house I would say so you may not have had a brilliant time so far however some of you I think may have had an exceptional time so it all depends as to where you are in that what does Aries need to know for the mid-march oh you wanted to come out okay put you down there thank you very much okay mm. Five of Wands and the Lovers card, very interesting. So the Five of Wands can sometimes allude to a disagreement or some strife, maybe too many cooks spoiling the broth, too many opinions, differences coming through. A lot of the time this is the case. It, you know, it can be that you are having disagreements with certain people or they have a certain way of doing something and you don't quite agree with that. You don't really want to get involved with their way of things or it could be that you just want to change and people are resisting that change that's also happening but the five of wands comes in with a sort of thing that i think there's too many opinions yes but i also feel like you're not able to hear the right one if that makes sense so it could also be that people are misjudging you and they're saying you should do your work like this you should do your work like this because there's some jealousy going on um so it could be people are misjudging you and you're being misrepresented somewhere um along the line here because i do feel like there's something that you are having pushed onto you by certain other people expectations it could be people who are trying to get a grip of their own life <laughs> you know oops, sorry uh, get a grip of their own life and trying too hard to control you in the process but I do feel like there's a lot going on in the positive for you here because you do have the lovers now with the full moon being in Libra on the 21st which is your seventh house of romance this could be the feeling of oh hello you know <laughs> you, you may have your eye taken by somebody and that person may take you by surprise or the person that you're involved with, the person that you love, this could also be um, something that takes you by surprise. But I feel like this in particular is saying that, okay, there's two sides. So you're either going to feel like the balance is there. There could be a Gemini involved in here because the lover's card is a Gemini. So it could be the fact that a Gemini helps you. It could also feel that your personal beliefs or your values are being challenged by this person or your relationship has been, been challenged by somebody. It could also be that your perception of what a relationship should be is being challenged too. Maybe you've been shut off too long. Maybe you've had this feeling of, oh, I need to do something. And you've, de you've been determined to remain strong over a point or stubborn over a point that you should start to maybe explore bending slightly, you know, just try to, you know, see it from a different point of view. Because I know Aries, you're very true to what you believe in, which is great. But I also feel like sometimes you could afford to see the other side of an argument or see how it's going to be from something else. Um, For instance, if you've had a 
partner who has disappointed you maybe there's a reason for that but you weren't prepared to see it before something like that or maybe there's a thing where I'm fine I don't need no person that's not really well it may be true for some of you but I don't think that's really healthy mindset I think maybe accept that you would like companionship and see what you do to explore that but I do feel that if you're already coupled there will be some kind of exploration here of challenges and how you benefit and oppose each other so that could prove to cause a little bit of some arguments but it could also be around work study that fine finite area of learning and what do we have here? Uncertainty. There we go. The shades of grey within the fog will eventually lift. So yeah, I feel like if you have been challenged by somebody, if somebody's called you into question, like I said before, if you started to doubt yourself because of that, doubt your place in relationships, wonder why your ex was that way, or wondering if you are looking at relationships and how they are meant to be, that uncertainty is what do I want this to, or any relationship to be that's actually going to lift throughout this month because Mercury retrograde with it being in your house of romance I think this is going to give you some cause for reflection concern sometimes and also see if there's anything you want to change it so as soon as Mercury goes direct you will be able to adhere to that you know you can start making the changes I feel through April maybe even into May you should start seeing some progress and you should probably find um quite a lot of involvement shall we say coming out of this and feeling like you have or you have the wherewithal to jump into something fully prepared with both feet and still be able to swim that kind of feeling but if you have been uncertain about anything even if it's signing a lease if it's been doing something with your business um that people have made you doubt in the relationship with business owners or something that should lift um after mercury retrograde because as i say i do think this has been a bit difficult for you um we've also had aquarius having venus slap bang in there for most of the month and that's been in your 11th house sorry no it's been your seventh no it has been in your 11th house i was correct um and it is kind of that feeling of social life where am i standing where am i going i want more love in my social life but if mercury has been kind of coming here going Mm -mm, no 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 you need to check this and this and this you may have felt slightly detached so I think that that's something that's going to resolve itself after Mercury retrograde but don't worry if you're not sure which direction to go you don't have to decide this minute you just have to meditate on it and see how it feels after a while you know what you feel like today you may not feel as impassioned by tomorrow so I just feel like you know in yourself what is the right path path for you to take so take that on board and don't doubt yourself as much as I think you have been doing potentially but I hope this helps you Aries leave a comment below if you let me know how things are going for you and again if you need any reading from me and a full consultation that's all in the description box thank you so much for supporting me if you'd like to support the channel even further you can buy me a coffee but in the meantime I'm going to move on to Leo Alrighty then, Leo, let's see what is going on for you. And then I'm just going to shuffle these cards and see what's, what's the message for Leo mid-March 2019. What does March want to give Oops. to Leo this month? I'm just going to get another card. Oh, okay. So yours has already been decided. Probably, I was about to say that they were given to me by a Leo, so they're probably in tune with that Leo-ish energy. Wow, you've got two pentacles here. So you've got the six and the two of pentacles, which is really interesting. Okay, so the six is very much about having that give and take. So generosity, even if it's not money, but it is time and effort and labor and, you know, emotional investment, you have been giving. It could also be that you've had been in the general sense of paying a bill, getting the money, spending it on something you like, but then paying a bill. And then, you know, so the work life balance may have been um, or may even become something that you are focusing on in the latter half of March. Mercury has been in retrograde 
and obviously this is different for everybody but this has been in your eighth house of taboo subjects but also of sexuality and endings and other people's money and things like that so it could be that you've been seeing some signs going on around you sniffing things smelling things wondering where things are coming from in messages um you know like things just popping up and then you're going oh that's odd so you could have been getting some irritability around things going missing um but also people not saying what they wanted to say about something they're dodging the subject because they feel uncomfortable so it could be that you're starting to see that erase a little bit more um but the six of pentacles here is a beautiful card it does mean that you have or should start getting enough of what you need and then gradually building on that so you have more than what you need and i think that was going to give you a sense of well-being and certainly a sense of oh right okay that's I'm, I'm doing something now I'm working towards something because it's always been a little bit difficult and a bit of a rocky road when things happen around you and you're not sure exactly where to go um, but I do feel this is now coming into more of an open path for you I mean with the full moon in Libra on the 21st of March that's in your third house of communication so you're probably going to be able to communicate what you want, what you're prepared to do to get it, and how you're going to do it. So I feel like there's going to be something that you're going to start because you've been charitable. You've been giving a lot of time and energy to people. Sometimes people that don't deserve it, not going to lie, and they have been draining your energy. But this is definitely something that gives you a feeling of um, progress, this growth that is coming from you is very much sustainable so your personal and professional growth I think is going to be sustained um, but I do feel like there's kind of a place where you need to be charitable to yourself <laughs> and to give yourself something that you know a break of some kind and then you have the two of pentacles now the two is very much about duality but also about balance here so as much as you're giving to other people and receiving back they don't want you to necessarily be overwhelmed by things or kind of um, feel too compromised by certain things that are going on around you so the two of pentacles here i mean yeah i don't know whether you can see but there's two little snakes so it could be that you have to choose between the lesser of two evils however that's more the two of swords this could be just that you're like i don't know which two things to prioritize over my huge amount of things that i've already got going on do i choose money and family do i choose health and family how can i prioritize this over the other or how can i maneuver one over here it's not compatible to do that it is though <laughs> i'm telling you don't worry too much about it you can work things out and you can balance it if things start to tip on one end of the scale you'll be able to bring it back and balance it out no problem mm -mm -mm. let go enjoy the pulsing light of the firefly but don't hold on too tight so it's kind of like you can enjoy the things that are coming in and you can enjoy getting more stuff but if you hold on too tightly like you would in perhaps say the four of pentacles you start to see you restrict yourself and lock into that path whereas with the six of pentacles it encourages you to give and create this charity cycle so you give and then you receive and then you give a little bit more but then you receive even more than that so it's kind of a, an energy compassing thing so it's kind of like you let go of material possessions that you don't need anymore whereas some people may go no i need this because it makes me feel important so i think this is you letting go of the expectations that maybe you had even of this month and actually moving towards something that you really feel like you can hold in your hands feel very strong about and actually start to see how the path is unfolding before you without holding on too rigidly to the path itself if that makes sense so i hope this helps you leo i really do and i wish you all the very best of luck with the rest of march let me know in the comments below how things go for you again if you need a reading from me all the information that you need to get one is down below including phone consultations and if you'd like to support the channel even further beyond subscribing you can also buy me a coffee but in the meantime i wish you all the very best of luck and the love in the world now we're going to move on to sagittarius Hello my little Sagittarius. Okay, so let's have a look and see what information we get from you guys today. This is 
going to impact I think most of you guys but again look at your sun moon or rising just to see what information comes through for you most strongly all right I think you wanted to come out and then you definitely wanted to come through and I'm just going to shuffle these what is this oh, hello okay so this already came out they've been very very flicky today so it wants to say first of all origins remember your roots this hasn't actually come out yet so this is very interesting to see what this reading has to say for you oh wow okay well Sagittarius if you are so inclined you may have to choose between two people however this kind of comes back to I can't remember which reading it was but there was you have the princess of swords and the princess of hearts so these are two knight um knights in general sorry pages in general decks so these are all about messages so mercury retrograde obviously has been varying degrees of difficulty for people but the princess of swords does show delay and princess of swords is always about um long distance communication so texts messages emails skype calls phone calls that sort of thing and because Mercury has actually been in your fourth house, which is your home and your fixed assets, vehicles, travel, that kind of thing, you could even have had issues with regards to uh, maps, GPSs, you know, the messages and the communication between satellites, stuff like that. So it could have been that you have waited quite a while for something to come through and you still haven't got it yet. Alternatively, it feels like this is kind of pulling you in two different directions. You could have an air sign and you could have a water sign here that's kind of tugging you in two opposite paths. You want to do something logically and you want to do something emotionally. This is normally where the chariot would come out. So there will be two ways of going around a particular problem between now and the end of the month and certainly after Mercury goes direct but there is a feeling I think of here that you could do something really really normal and logical and go with your head and say well I'm just gonna wait or you could go with your heart and nudge somebody that you're waiting for information from or go forwards and say actually I want to hear from you this could apply to love relationships um, career family it could even apply to people who you're waiting for a job application from um, if you're waiting to travel, like the airline hasn't got back to you, something like that. But I do feel like from both of these, there is a curious energy. This is mostly about that feeling of um, exploration, wanting to read into things a bit too much, potentially. And it could also be the fact that your emotions, I mean, they're both reading something. I hope you can see this, but they are both deeply reading something. So they're reading messages. Maybe you're reading too much into something and ignoring your intuition. Maybe you're reading or overanalyzing it and then going, oh my gosh, this is giving me anxiety. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's something that you can truly understand within this, that there's a balance. And I think this is kind of what this is saying to you. Remember your roots. Remember why you're doing things. Remember why you sent the message. You know, remember what this whole point is for. So if you, for instance, have been seeing somebody and then they suddenly don't stop, te they stop texting you. Mm. Hang on a second. I feel really weird about this and blah, blah. Don't let the situation change your personality. So if you remember your roots and why you're getting into relationships, you get probably getting into a relationship for communication with the other person. If they've decided to stop texting you, Maybe you should not overanalyze or try and push somebody. Maybe you should just go, well, this isn't acceptable. Bye. This kind of like making the compromise where it's not necessary. And especially, I think, this month when Mercury retrograde is so up and down, you can't really afford to waste time on things that don't seem to be going anywhere, which would probably be better resolved further along in April. I mean, you do have your full moon in Libra on the 21st of March, which is in your income, your social life, side ventures. So you shouldn't actually be have much problem with that area. Um, Libra is going to be very blessed to you and it's going to give you some nice calm feelings in your social life as far as I can feel for you. But I do feel that, you know, in the last week after that, 
you may start to taper off this feeling of I need to make a decision or I'm overanalyzing it or I'm just going to jump in with both feet or I'm blah, blah, blah. Your emotions, I think, have been all over the place and I really hope that you're able to have that settled down a little bit more. But any uncertainty, any issues that you've had going on, I honestly feel are going to resolve themselves before the month is through. But I do hope that helps you, Sagittarius. Let me know below how things are going for you in the comments. If you'd like a personal reading or a phone consultation, all the information you need to do that is in the description box. But in the meantime, I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.